Oh, sounds like somebody's taking a cap off something. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most creedless show on the internet. My name is Riley Zunder, my seedless co-host, Dignan. Not a seed on me. And we're once again lucky enough to be joined by our friend, you know what he does, his name's Quadeca. God, I'm so excited. What he has to say, it's the University of College London. You remember what they said in the last video? They said one-tenth of audio is the smallest amount of sound that humans can actually recognize. Uh -huh. And we did that, we hit that out of the park. Diggy and I got like 11 out of however many we did. We got a lot of them right. So we're like, f it, one sixteenth, let's break records. If we do this video successfully, this will be scientific proof that everything science says is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> if we get any right, science is a lie. This is <laughs> Guess, Guess the, the song, song from one sixteenth second of audio. Here's how it's gonna work. DJ Grant's gonna play us a one sixteenth second clip of a song and we have to guess what song it is. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Diggy versus Quadeca versus you. Aiden from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm gonna keep it a buck, Aiden. About to get smoked. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemytv.com for our merch. Also consider joining our Patreon. It's down in the description. It's $5 a month, you get extra content. Maybe get a cameo from us. We have our link down there for that as well. This is actually lit though, cause the fact that there is some sort of scientific element about this, like I'm genuinely very excited to play this game. And for the folks at home, why don't you play along too? Oh, yeah. No way. What? I can't believe I got this one. You actually have it? I'm like, uh, I'm like 80%. Years of research out the window yeah. for London or whoever did that. Yeah. University College London. University College School of Academics London. We got London on the track. Stick around so that you can see what I have to say at the end of the video because you're really going to want to hear it. Three, two, one. Put Keep It Burning by Future and Kanye. Mo Bamba. I put N95. This is Mo Bamba. Let's go! Yes. I'm built different. I'm, it's simple as that. It That's really crazy. is. crazy. How'd you recognize da, 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 da. That note. You may you may see this. I wore this special sweater day. Yeah. Musical. They they don't know. They they think I, I'm I'm a I'm a fraud. I'm a musical genius. That's why I wear this because I'm repping for music, the universal language. So I want to hear the clip again and then more of the song. Nothing for me. Sixteen year old. Drinking. That's what that song makes me want to do. Drinking. <laughs> Drinking. Who's with me? Chat? That one I feel like I might have. I might have it. One more time. These are ones where even if I feel like I really know it, it's so hard to say. I kind of wonder about the nature of that study of like if it was recognizable music to everyone. Like I feel like this is honestly a better study than the one yeah. that they did because Grant knows the music that we know. Yes, and he's playing very recognizable music. So it's like, yeah, it's the it's the real test. What? You play wiffle ball growing up? Uh, you know, occasionally. First baseman? No. Yeah, yeah. it was first baseman. Okay, All right, sure. let's get it. Three, two, one. No more parties in LA? 3005. I put loyalty? This is 3005 by Childish Gambino. I'm built different. <laughs> I do not understand <laughs> music. It's a beautiful thing, people. This is this crazy. Is a, this is a treble clef. Yeah, that's right. A treble clef. <laughs> no, wait, that's the bass clef. This already feels like an insurmountable lead for me. But, well, this is just crazy. I just thought that we would all get zero. I yeah. honestly thought like, oh, science is probably right. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I try I tr to trust science when I can. Yeah, absolutely, me too. For, like the global warming thing, but it's whatever. This time I was gonna trust science and now I don't, once again. Yeah. Yep, back to religion, I guess, for me. I'm getting rid of my recycling bin later. Wait, so there was no vocal in there at all? At the first, at the very beginning of the song, it was like a, uh, cause it's like a transition from the previous song, I think. Cause I thought it was the, da, di, da, da. Da. Oh, yeah. at the beginning of No More Parties. Oh. I thought it was, I've got, you meant DNA then. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, but I got, he says I got loyalty. Sure, sure, so, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The second question has been asked, so we all know what time it is. It is time for the bar, bar of, of the, the day. day. My segment where I write a bar, preferably in the style of Riley Savage, a great mm -hmm. bar writer. This one I wrote on my McDonald's receipt. And I think this one, it's one of the most elaborate, but it's a good one. All right, let's hear it. My label will crucify me on the spot if I don't cross promote my band name. But Jesus ran the original pre-save campaign. Holy smokes. <laughs> Think about crucify it. Crucify me on the spot if I don't, don't cross promote my, my band, band name. name. Wow. That 
is good. It's too good. Yeah, it's too good. Is that on the album? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. Nice job. Thank you. You are having a great video so far. You yeah. had <laughs> both of the questions right, and uh, then said one bar. of the craziest bars I've ever heard you say. Yeah. And you get drug tested after this one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of drugs we can test out after this. Ooh, I'm getting like pop song vibes. I feel like it's a Drake song. It is a minor chord. I will tell you that it is a minor chord. Yeah. Is that um, why you think it's a Drake song? Oh. <laughs> Riley. Riley. He needs the smoke. He can afford to be humbled a little bit. I do want to meet him though, you know? Yeah. I don't want things to be weird if I meet him. Oh fam, I love the hive mind stuff. My my bros play it and it's just like, yeah man, no, those hive mind guys, they're a fucking hoot. <laughs> that's a good Drake. That's a good Drake. That's what I'll say to him when I meet him. <laughs> oh, that's a good Drake. Shh, 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 shh. Say OVO, say OVO. Three, two, one. I put Dynamite by Tail Cruz. I put uh, Know Yourself, Drake. I put ZZ, Kodak Black. This is Pick Up the Phone by Travis Scott <gasps> and Young That Rock. is inches away. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that like fake steel drum sound. If that song's Coke, that's the, pe that's the Pepsi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck. Pick up the phone, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is that steel drum, like the tropical thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Fruity, like a Pinot Colado. <laughs> Drinking out of pineapples. Hulu skirts, hey. Hulu skirts, Pinot Coludo. <laughs> mm, that's good, I love vacation. You guys know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm on a different wave today. You yeah. gotta ride with me or drown in the ocean. Oh, I know it. What? <gasps> Do you even think you can make a 1 16 second sound? That's actually pretty good. <laughs> then it goes a little long. I'm gonna try to do one. I'm gonna try the fastest possible one. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Oh. That's that's quick too. A lot of speed on that one. Oh. The length too is alarming. Yep. Work it. Don't forget that spot. Shoot, that sure is a short sound. Three, two, one. I put buy you a drink. Every day I sub Rocky. Put Gold Digger. This is Gold Digger by Kanye West. Uh. She give me money. That <laughs> when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a traveling friend indeed. Oh, she's Gold Digger. Way over there. She gave it back. Yeah, I sound just like Jamie Foxx. You can say it. I don't have to say it. I don't have to be the one to say it. Go ahead, say it. You sound like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Jamie, you're welcome. You take my money when well, I'm in need. God. That is a great movie. <laughs> hey, 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 can we get into the next one? <laughs> I'm trying to work in the Elvis bit. Yeah, I like oh, it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He was a piece of shit. Four months of shit, I hadn't shit in four months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. No wonder they called him Elvis the Pelvis. I mean, he was, he was full of shit. <laughs> he was constipated for four months. Can you imagine letting him get that bad? I've been there. Oh. Sounds like somebody taking a cap off something. Sounds like some hyper pop mm. shit. Travis Scott is very secretive with uh, t his storytelling. You know, mm -hmm. he's always like, don't you let out that anecdote. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> don't you open up that window. Don't you let out that anecdote. <laughs> there might be eavesdroppers nearby. Exactly. Let's make sure we keep this story between you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. doesn't like people like getting in his personal business. I feel that. It's tough being a celebrity. Three, two, one. I put Get Got by Death Grips. Uh, Charlie XCX song. I put the heart part five. This is Fireflies by Alex. <gasps> that popped into my oh. fucking head. I'm not even capping. That's hyper pop. Who sings Fireflies? Owl City. They have one other song you can name. I'll give you four bucks. I can do it. I, I didn't ask you. Really? I didn't ask you. I can name you. multiple. I can name like a bunch of Owl City songs. <laughs> yeah, not cool. Go ahead. Self-titled. Self-titled. <laughs> the Owl City track by Owl City. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would it be called self-titled or would it be called Owl City? It's called uh, like the word self-titled. That's what I'm trying to do for my next album. Quadeca, self-titled. Oh, but it's not. But it's it's just titled so, like self-titled. It's not called Quadeca. No, no. That I mean, seems very narcissistic. The, the synth is like real. Oh. Still listening to it. Would not believe your eyes. What were you gonna say about the synth, you little fucker? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that it's a very clicky synth. Like the, the high end, it's like everything's like, D -d -d it sounds like a drum. Like that first thing yeah. it sounded like, I always thought of that song as very soft and like. Mm -hmm. I'm quitting cocaine, I'm off the rails. All right, Grant, let's hear the next one. 
This sounds just like a wall of sound. Almost sounds like a cursed owl city. Ten million fireflies. <laughs> It's so abrasive. It's like, like it's clipping. It sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It sounds like, it's like a clip from a horror movie. It's like, <laughs> like that quick jump scare when you close the bathroom cabinet and your grandma's behind you and she's like, Wait, she's, she's like, like what? what? She's a ghost and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old lady. And she's no, like, yeah. <laughs> that spooky scene in most scary movies. Yeah, Wait, but there's yeah. like the. It's just it's, like it seems like normal for a second, and then there's like a weird yeah, hand he's motion. Doing like one little thing. There's one yeah. little thing that's weird. So like, okay, just like yeah. look that way and like deny to your wife that the old house you bought has nothing wrong with it, and then when you turn back, I'll do the ghost. All right. All right, you'll be the wife. All right, honey, I just don't know. There's like weird stuff happening. It's in my house. fine. It's global warming. The globe is warming. We're all good. <laughs> oh! Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like what? this, here, like this motion. Yeah, that's... <laughs> no. Yeah, it's that. It's the middle part. When what? You're doing, middle part? You're doing the thing... The whole part's oh, sorry, a ghost. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the whole sorry, part it's, of it's, it's a The ghost. middle part makes it a little weird, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's good now. Yeah. I think that one looked normal. That one was normal to you? Yeah, yeah, that one was good. It was the... It was the, what you it was the middle part. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really just think we should move. It's an old house. Three, two, one. I put six, nine, Billy. <laughs> In the club, fifty cent. I put the old Chicago Bulls intro song. <laughs> this is Empire State of Mind by Jay Z. What? Wow. No. That it sounded so haunted. <laughs> That's a beautiful song. Yeah, it sounded hard. Like a Jay Z ad lib that sounds like yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I would never have heard that. That was a hard, if anybody got that right, and yeah, and without being a fucking liar, because I see these liars in the chat. Oh, oh, everyone's saying what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Like, if you're doing that, quit fucking lying, get the fuck out of here. Or if you did the thing where you do the two times speed on the intro song to the premiere, and in the chat, you're ahead by like 10 seconds or whatever it is. Yeah, people yeah. have been doing that recently where they just put the right answer and it looks like it's at the right time. That's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, people really. Really do that? Yeah. There's a lot of foul business that goes on with this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's a super corrupt organization. And yeah. uh, I mean, someday we're going to have to do something about it. But yeah. for now, let the boys play. <laughs> Gus Fring knows a thing or two about foul business. So was Brian Cranston technically a method actor? Oh. That was the easiest one, yeah. I think so. Unless we all got it wrong. Where the fuck does tickle me pink come from? The phrase? Yes. Um, I think it's like when you tickle somebody and then they laugh so hard that they turn pink. Oh, like a flush. Yeah. When somebody's like laughing so hard, they're like, like <laughs> oh, stop, 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 stop. Don't tickle me anymore. You know, I hate this. I hate this. Don't tickle me anymore. I can't stand when you tickle me. Yeah. And then they get pink. <laughs> Thought it was like maybe an Irish guy asking you to touch him in like an inappropriate spot. You gotta come in here and drink a couple carlings, a couple Guinness. Tickle me pink. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just depressed. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah. Try a Guinness. Yep. Three, two, one. Vamp anthem. Vamp anthem. Vamp anthem. It is vamp anthem. <laughs> hey, hey! We all got it! We're all fiscal conservatives. We're right on the money. I got a fistful for conservatives. That's <laughs> badass. Five, 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 five. Let women do what they want with their bodies. No one needs an assault right far. Ted Cruz. Five, 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 five. I'm serious about this shit. Like, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to change the world for the better. Yeah. I respect yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Mitch McConnell. Bing! Bing! <laughs> <laughs> that QAnon senator. Bing! <laughs> On a first date. She's like, well, I'm kind of more fiscally concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your next words carefully. And then I pull the tablecloth out without spilling anything. Yeah. I pay for the meal without ordering and I leave. <laughs> That's the kind of guy I am. Yeah. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? The first time I heard the clip, in my head I went, I can understand how it might be. Be kind of hard to love a girl like me. I don't blame you much for wanting to be free. Swiss told me to let the beat rock. Sorry I got egg on my hoodie. I don't care. I know, it's just gross. I just don't want you to be distracted by it. I thought it was mustard. <laughs> oh, I feel like I know it. 
You know how there's those people who can do tricks with guns? Well, like take a bullet and they'll like flip into the air into the chamber sure. or whatever. Like crazy stuff like that. That is like super meticulous. Yeah. And in cartoons, there's always like a crazy chef or cook who will like throw food up into the air and like cut it into a bunch of things. How does that happen in real life? I feel like there should be a chef so good that they could literally throw it up into the air and like cut it with their hands and all that. And this man never been to Benihana. I was just about to say, yeah. I don't think he knows what a hibachi grill is. Yeah. I've no. been to a hibachi grill. They don't do it like that. Get out of the Midwest. Yeah, they do. They don't do it like that. They do. Big. This is what they do. <laughs> Literally. And there your burger is prepared. <laughs> a burger? You get a burger from a hibachi place? <laughs> they go like this. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is what they do. Okay, maybe I haven't been to a hibachi <laughs> no, no, no. place because honestly, like, This is what they do. This is what they do. <laughs> a single apple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cool. Sometimes I've seen them do this too. All the bits are already chopped up, kind of like pre-chopped up stuff. And they'll throw it up. Lasagna. <laughs> See, I'm so confused because I thought I had been to hibachi places, but burgers, lasagnas, and apples? I mean, there's, there's two different rooms. There's oh. the amateur chefs, kind of the citizen chef. They do the egg, the onion tower. They throw a little shrimp in your date's mouth, you know, basic stuff. There's a VIP section mm -hmm. where yeah, they- right. Your oranges, your melons. <laughs> yeah. See, last time I was at one of those places, I actually got really jealous. So I'm like, listen, I'm the only one who puts shrimp in my date's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Gangnam Style. Dior Pop Smoke? Bound to? This is Churchill Downs by Jack Harlow and Dre. He was wow. so confident. He was like, I yeah, really yeah, thought yeah. I had it. I thought it was, oh, I'm getting this. Uh, uh, the I heard a deep voice. I heard like a, <laughs> I kind of heard like a, <laughs> you know, I think I kind of ruined the show when I'm on. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why. Me too. Sure. Um, you guys just have something great going on between you. You're like an iconic duo. Okay. I've always likened you to like, uh, you know, you're like Jimmy Kimmel, right? You're like the insider, mm -hmm. you know, you're like in the biz. Oh, well, like and Dennis you're, Rodman. No, you're Guillermo. You're sort of like the guy brings in off the street that sort of just, you know, is there to make people laugh. And that's, you know, that's, there's a good duo, Jimmy Kimmel and Guillermo. You know who else was a good duo? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel and Sarah Silverman. Holy shit, they did they see each other? Minute, yeah. Oh, wow, uh -huh. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. Good for him, man. I know, that's what I'm saying. You know yeah. how I feel about Sarah Silver. I know. Big fan. You want to hear my Sarah Silverman impression? Hold on, it could be bad. That's fine. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear my Sarah Silverman impression? I am John Mulaney. <laughs> you want to hear my impression of, uh, here, give me, what's another comedian? Give me a comedian. Snap Wilson. I, I don't know who that is. Give me someone that I know. Uh, Chip Gringis. Is that a real person? Um, give me, give me like a one Mitzi Kittens. Person. No, give oh, me Mitzi a Kittens. <laughs> Mitzi Kittens is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Cedric Bonneville. <laughs> a classic. Everybody knows him. Yeah. Okay, you want to hear my uh... Henry Snifels. <laughs> do a Henry Snifels. Yeah, for Henry Snifels. You do a good Henry Snifels. Ah, uh, no, it's not that good. <laughs> it's, it's you like, were doing it. It's funny, dinner. but it's not. You were good. doing it at dinner the other night. Oh. Someone across the restaurant said, "Is Henry Snifels in here?" And we said. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they, they were in on the joke, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. You want to hear my Ellen impression? Who's Ellen? Who's Ellen? <laughs> that, that talk show host. Ooh, Kenny Altman. Oh, I got a Kenny Altman. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny how you can do one of him without him really talking. You when know he walks I mean? into the room, yeah, he's like, oh, he's got that. Yeah. <laughs> I take it back. You fucking suck at impressions. <laughs> you already said that. Well, I said you were bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it up a notch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds way more like Pop Smoke Dior. Cold hearts and heated floors, no parental guidance, I just see the voice. Therapy sessions, I'm in the waiting room reading Forbes. I will say this, when it's like a busy section of the song, like there's a vo there's vocals and the beat and the drums, it's very hard to identify. But if it's like an iconic first note, that's kind of the only way you can get it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh. oh. See, now that is exactly what you were just talking about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's an example of something that is just iconic enough as a little morsel of sound. Should we do our guesses? I think we should probably do our guesses, yeah. All right, let's, let's go. Do it. Are you right. hollow on the inside? You sound like an old tree. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> is there anything in there? Oh my God, he's right. You know what I mean? He sounds like an old oak. This we is body like, shaming. We should like chop him in half and see how many rings he has on there. There's probably squirrels living in there. We don't want to ruin their nest. Let's no. try and raise them and steal their babies and teach them to use a litter box and stuff. And okay. then when they get full grown, we're going to real fat and then we'll kill them and make them into gloves. <laughs> I hate to break this to you. Go ahead. But they're old squirrels. Oh, ah, <laughs> nice old squirrels. Three, two, one. All right. All right. All right. This is All Right by Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, my name is Lucy. I'm your dog. Been any instruments in high school? Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> oh, God. Can we do the next question? Yeah, Jesus let's do the next question. Well, let's listen to the song. Let's... All right, let's listen to a little bit of this song. Fuck! Uh... Oh, it's my 
my life I has to fight. Go ahead, try and break the watch. Indestructible. <laughs> what? Get off your phone, Riley. We're I'm filming. looking for a fucking song name. Okay. <laughs> Can I look for a fucking song name? I was just looking up for a song name. Is he gonna cry? Or is I go on Spotify. I look up a song name for me to write down. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing filming I'm me? Not. I'm looking up a song name too. That I'm looks like you're know. filming me. No, I'm zoom in on it. I'm literally not. This I'm isn't funny. Cry. I'm gonna put the crying filter on it. Dude, put yeah. a caption at the end. It's like, the, Wait. It's like a crying emoji. Like, yo. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, all no, I was like, doing was looking up a song name on Spotify so that I could write it down. I don't remember the name of the songs all the time. Dude, Dude I'm streaming it. Look yo. At yo, someone said he's going through puberty in reverse. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this live? No. Guys. I'm not. I'm just looking up a song name. <laughs> someone said lost all respect for Riley. <laughs> guys, I really don't understand what's going on. I'm in that comment. <laughs> All right, um, so I was just looking up a song, but then we can That's cool. just keep it moving. Three, two, one. Like basketball by Bow Wow. Fuck the police, NWA. What? Leaving on a jet plane by John Denver. This is Despacito. Uh, what the Despacito fuck? Despacito by Luis Fonzi? I really thought it was playing basketball. Originals yeah. by Curtis Blow. Oh, really? You sure? Bow Wow did a remix? My favorite place is the yeah, he's just a lame cover. His little kid voice sucks. Well, it's from Like Mike, and that's a great movie. Is it? Listen, in the new season of Stranger Things, I don't exactly like Mike, but uh, <laughs> listen. Again, fits my theory. Busy part of the song. Yeah. Impossible to discern. Yeah. If it was Despacito. If it said the whole word, it definitely would have gotten it. Easy. <laughs> you know it? Yeah. It's just fucking white noise. How do no, you know no. it? Play one more. I have an idea. <sighs> Probably a witch house song. Giant playing a soccer video game? <laughs> Fee, fa, full, fa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That wins the award for best bit of the day. Best joke of the day. Goes to Riley. I liked your 9-11 joke. Here's the thing about 9-11 jokes. You never forget them. <laughs> Ow. Three, two, one. But I got a feeling. Miss the Ray? I put Harry Potter rap sequence. This is the Monster Mash. Oh! <laughs> what? The Monster Mash? You guys both thought the same song? <laughs> I had, I got a feeling. I had Mr. Rage. <laughs> How are they different? I got a feeling. <laughs> I'm Mr. Rage! <laughs> I'm casting spells of Hermione. She got a fat ass, you know, it reminded me. <laughs> My best friend's name is Ron Weasley. I take out Draco real easily. Oh, gas pack. Let's hear a little of the Monster Mash, that one iconic Halloween song. I was working in the lab late one night with my eye. Never heard it. <laughs> You've never heard the monster? That did not even, I mean, I've heard the hook. Well, that, that, wasn't, would, the, yeah, that wasn't the hook. That, yeah. why, who would pick that? It's a great song. Would you rather write the monster mash, like an iconic song? It's going to live forever. It's played on every holiday. It's just funny. It's enjoyed by children. It brings joy to the world. Or, or would you rather songs. write like your album? I knew he's going to say that. Out. I knew he's going to fucking say Which that. Which one would you want? Mine. I'd choose the monster mash. <laughs> <laughs> the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. <laughs> All right, I know the last one, gang. Smash that like button, guys. Don't forget it. And get a cameo. <laughs> and watch this video again. Ooh. You're not tying me, Riles. I'm sorry. You're not tying me, bro. Wait, it's between a few. It's one for me. Three, two, one. What do you mean? Hotline Blink. Come Yonkers? On. It's Hotline Come Blink. Come on. Oh. Nice, bud. See, I was between Hotline Bling, the ping pong song by Enrique Iglesias, and What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber. When you nudge your head, yes, but, but you want to say no. What do you mean? Nice game, dude. Five big ones. You used to call me on my... You used to call me on my... Oh, shoot. Nice game, Quad. Wait a minute. Please don't do that thing. Yeah, you. I forgot. Please don't do that thing. Right. It's like a whole different studio and everything now. Yeah. Gonna do the victory lap. The spoon's Woo! not even... The spoon's not even Woo! here. Yeah. Woo! Hmm. Everybody, cheer! Where you're watching from home, cheer! If anyone asks you what you're cheering about, don't tell them. But just keep cheering. I can hear you. I have the power to hear. And when I hear all the, oh, I'm hearing them coming in now. There's a little of a bit of a delay, but they're coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a little too loud. Okay, okay, stop cheering. Yeah. Please, stop. Ah, oh, that's much better. He's still going, even though the cheers have oh, stopped. Oh, oh, yeah. there's no, uh, there's no spoon in here, but I, I did spot this from across the room. There's a little bucket. 
Yep. So yeah. I'll just sort of be plop, plop in the bucket. Yeah. Oh, we. Oh, I, you're, you're a little bit forgot something in there. I'm not gonna fit in that. Are you gonna drink it? There's no way we ship it. Put it, yeah, put it in the back of the truck for me, Grant. Thanks, buddy. All right. Well, Good game, Ben. Yeah. Fuck, I wish I remembered what her name was, but at the show, there was a girl at your show who said, next game you play, we need that victory lap. Mm. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do it for you. So you know who you are. Th 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 thanks so much for having me on the channel. As always. Great on. videos. Make sure you go subscribe. Come on. And uh, yeah. Everybody go listen to Guadeca's music. Listen to it today. Album soon. Yeah. Y'all aren't ready. <laughs> Five to three to two final uh, scientists can eat shit. And yeah. also make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this stuff is to the beginning. And Biggie, <laughs> you want to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Dead men are the only who will know no war. All right, this has been I'm on TV. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Hocus pocus, put the camera in focus. Sitting next on the ca on a camera with jokesters. Read the Bible, now I'm scared of locusts. Eh, former NBA MVP, Nicola Jokic. I heard all of your jokes and all of your jokes were grotesque. Shout out Lamar Odom, I got a very large scrotum. Lamar Odom just hit me up for all that money I owed him. I thought you said you were conservative for a second. <laughs> I'm trying to watch Ridiculousness. What channel is it on on the West Coast? That's me <laughs> in an LA hotel room trying to watch Ridiculousness. That's wow. really good. Do you want to hear my Sarah Silverman yeah. impression? Yeah. Running on empty, running on, running wild, hey! Is, is that a song she did? It's a song that Jackson Brown did. But that would be her singing it. Really well, and like Jackson Brown. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna miss the rage. Oh, I miss the rage! <laughs>